Okay. And uh, I think we've been waiting long enough, so I think we've really got cracking. Would anyone like to ask Patricia a question? Let's go first, and I'll be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions about angels, spirits, love, family? I'm just as nervous as you, so. How long have you been doing this? Sorry? How long have you been doing this? How long have I been communicating with angels? Yes. Is it? Um, the age of six, I have been communicating with angels, um, and spirit world in around that age. I, I first saw it, um, my fourth uh, spirit person when I was just about six, yeah, and uh, angels from six years of age. Now, it could have been earlier than that, but I don't have any memory of it. I just have from the age of six up, so ever since then. Yeah. Were you scared? No, no. <laughs> I'm more scared today, believe you me, <laughs> answering your questions. <laughs> but as to do with the angels, no. I mean, they, they, they're not there to, um, they're not there to frighten us, they're there to, to, um, to guide us, to help us. And you know when your angel is around, because you feel, you feel the angel there, you feel really, really happy and, and content. So it's unconditional love, so the look and feeling that you feel, you won't feel scared at all. I promise. <laughs> Oh, someone also, uh, a lady asked me earlier on today, does everybody have a guardian angel? And does your guardian angel ever leave you for a certain reason? Okay, everybody has a guardian angel. We're all born with a guardian angel. Um, your guardian angel never, ever leaves you. I know um, a lot of people might have had some tough times, have had to go through some traumatic times, and there might have been times, like myself, that you would have felt, well, why was my angel not here? Why did the angel not, you know, help me through this? Why did the angel, why did my angel not stop somebody hurting me? And, you know, I asked the, my angels, I asked them that because a lot of you have read my book and for those that didn't, you know, it was a very traumatic <coughs> time. And I did one day ask why, you know, why, why, didn't, why didn't you stop this person uh, doing this to me? And the answer was, Patricia, we couldn't because we can't stop the hands of another person because we've all got free will. And the, the person that brought me, he chose to do that to me and the angels couldn't stop me. So I hope that's all around us. But they stay with us, they don't leave us until we leave this life and go on into the next life. Yeah. I know any questions for me, I always start asking loads, I'm curious. <laughs> He's asking me the last hour. Sorry, do you think everybody's capable of communicating with angels? Like everybody has the ability to, to do it? Yeah. Um, I, I, my belief is that everybody can communicate with their angels. Um, I'm, I'm nobody special just because, you know, I see them all the time. I mean, I see your guardian angel around you, and uh, who's been helping you for, for the last couple of weeks. There's just been some things going on with you. And your guardian angel wants me to tell you that everything's going to be okay for you. But I'll have a private word with you later on because of a little bit of personal stuff, which I don't give out into the public because I know you don't, you don't want anybody to know about this. Yeah. Um, but you can actually see your guardian angel. Everybody can see their guardian angel. It's not just because I'm special, I'm not special. Yeah. You can do it too. Can I ask you um, kind of two uh, things? Okay. One, um, you know if we have our different lifetimes, yeah. do we have the same guardian angel? If um, in each lifetime? Oh, okay. Does the same guardian angel stay with us or is it... Okay, not sure about that one because um, I know we, we go through different lifetimes, yeah. you know, that it, it, but when we leave this life, it's up to us. We decide whether we're going to come back. Yeah. We yeah. decide. Yeah. So I kind of, well, my guide is telling me, no, the answer to that is no, no. we get a different guardian okay, angel. He's so just telling me, he's just no. telling me, no, we get a different one. And okay. okay, fine. Okay. So, yeah, he's answered that. And do me. they actually, we were talking about this earlier on, okay. do they have, do you see them with wings, or is it? Is that just like, um, is that just how they're described, but actually they're more like a, a white energy <coughs> or white light? Do they actually have Everybody's wings? different. I see them with the wings. Okay. Um, one of my granddaughters sees them just as a shimmering light. And it's just the way um, they want you to see them. Uh, some people would want to see them with wings, so therefore they'll appear okay. with wings. It's how we. It's how we how we would like to see them, and to know that you know they're not there to frighten you. So they'll give you what you're capable of doing, and they know if you're ready to see them or not. And if you're not ready, they'll just hold back until you're ready, and then they'll, they'll appear. And it's lovely when they do, because you know they're not to be frightened of. Nothing. You'll want them there 24 or 7 then. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? 